What's poppin' pretty posse? It's your girl Jasmine and I am back with another video. Today I will be making a or coloring a custom wig that I just made on the sewing machine. It is fresh off the press and that is why you see me cutting from underneath the cap to remove you know, the black from underneath the lace. So this is a fresh unit that I just made on the sewing machine. It is a five by five closure, HD closure, five by five HD closure with 16 inch bundles. And I am about to color this unit. I wanted to do like a skunk patch type situation especially um using like a red color because we're in fall right now so you see me sectioning off um a section where i will be you know making my skunk patch so i took a part of the closure and then some of the tracks um on the side of the closure to create the skunk patch so first i'm going to dye the rest of the wig jet black so i am using clear all 1aa which is a super cool jet black Okay, it's probably like my favorite jet black because it's really easy to use. You just put it in a bottle with your developer and shake it up. I did use a 20 developer. You don't need anything too high for a jet black. Just something to activate the jet black color, the permanent color. So I am going to cover the whole back um, and everything around the part that I separated to actually do the skunk part. So you see me now smoothing through the jet black color. I love doing jet black. It's like literally the easiest color to do, honey. Just smooth that thing around and it's gonna get to them strands, okay? Especially when you're using the clear all liquid color, I find that it moves through the hair easier than like a cream color. So you'll see here in just a second that I am going to cover the parts that I just colored so that way it doesn't touch the skunk patch because I'm gonna have to lift the skunk patch. And because I have to color this unit twice essentially, um, or three times essentially, I wanted to um, go ahead and knock out the jet black and the bleach patch at the same time. So in order to do that or to make everything really clean um, and across the line, you're gonna take a shower cap and literally just pin it in place so that it's not um, the, the, the next area that you're going to do is not going to touch the other area. And for this instance, we don't want this bleach touching this jet black. It's going to mess it up. So here I am messing up some bleach. I am doing a 30 developer for this section because I wanted it to get pretty light. I wanted this red to pop. You hear me? Pop it. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute the bleach with the 30 developer through the area that I'm going to create the skunk patch. Again, you see that I have the shower cap underneath where I am laying the bleach so that way it does not touch the jet black. Make sure you keep that separate. Stay tuned, stay tuned. So here I am finally finished with that patch. I've let it process and I am now about to apply the color. I did go shampoo it out um, and I did, you know, really just shampoo. Look at that scalp, y'all. That is, that is fire, okay? The HD lace is really giving what it needs to give. So the patch, I am going to go ahead and separate that back out after shampooing the unit. I did not condition it because I believe that the hair will take better with a semi-permanent color if you don't, you know, put the conditioner on it first. You know, just wash it, get the bleach out, and then add your semi-permanent color, let that process, and then once you rinse that out, then you go back and put your conditioner on. So here I am using, I believe I'm using Adore Crimson Red or Red Crimson, one of those two, or maybe it's just called Crimson. It is. It's a door crimson, which is like a really vibrant red. And that's what I was going for um, on this unit. I definitely wanted to have a bright red patch in the front. So as you can see, I have finished that. I'm going to let that process. 
The black came out perfectly. No knots, no lace was touched in the process of making this video. Um, it is very important that you lay your color appropriately on the lace because if not, baby girl, it's gonna bleed through, okay? I talked a little bit more about this in my last video. You know, don't smush the hair down when coloring. Literally just hit the root and lay it down. Hit the root and then lay it down. All right, so this is after I've applied the conditioner. I'm gonna go ahead and pluck out the hairline, which you see I have done. And now I am molding her for the night so she can air dry, okay? Boom, this is the next day. Color is looking good. She's The part is molded out and it is now time to style and repluck. So I'm a big, big believer in plucking twice. You know what I'm saying? Pluck while it's wet, let that set, and then come back and pluck it again. So you'll see me going ahead to mold the hairline and now I'm going back in with my tweezers just to make sure that this part is plucked out and anything um, in the hairline that needs to be plucked more, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. So that way, when I style this wig, I don't have to go back and do that, you know? Flatten everything out with your hot comb. And as y'all might or may not know, I love using um, an oil-free shine. It helps to make those hairs flat, okay? Before you style, be sure that you go in and layer, cut the ends, whatever it is that you wanna do so that way the frame is already there when you're styling. I chose to use my very big curling iron. It's probably like a two inch curling iron by Hot Tools. Um, I like this because it creates body without giving too much curl. You know, we don't want too much curl. We just need a little body, yada, 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 yada. You know what I'm saying? Just need a little body. So I'm going to continue to curl. If you have not watched my previous video, um, I believe it is Frontal Wig Making Part 2. I explain in depth how I curl my wigs. To me, there is a very specific process that you need to go by, okay? Very specific process. When I get to the closure on either side, flatten it out section by section, that's just gonna make sure that your part is really laid, okay? It's really laid. Don't try to hit all of it at one time. Go section by section. Do y'all see the bang? Okay, sis ain't even done. The bang is giving. You hear me? All right, stay tuned for the ending results. And here she is. I named this unit Autumn, and she is beautiful, okay? She's layered, she's got that body going on, she got her skunk patch. It's really the jet black with the red that like really like set this whole look off. I mean, literally, everybody that comes to the salon is like, oh my God, that wig right there. I'm like, girl, I know. Okay. You need to purchase it, okay? Because it's gonna look good on you. It is. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the Pretty Lounge channel. And also put a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed, I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see more tutorials on things that we are doing at the Pretty Lounge, okay? It is, it is popping at the Pretty Lounge. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will catch you all next time.